All right, guys, we're on our way to go get our new baby chickens. We're going in to get our baby cheeps. We're all excited. Oh, guys, look at these. Oh. Let's get a good look at all of them. Hi, little fellas. Let's go check them out. These are all spoken for. Uh, there's a couple extras. Aww. So we get to pick the two we want then? Sure. And they're all female? They are. That's what we ordered. All right, guys. What do you think? I got my eye on You got your eye? One the, the gold lace wine. That's what I'm afraid oh, of. Ooh, you Ooh. Feisty. I want the black one. You going to pick it yeah, up? that one right there. I yeah. want the black one. No, the black ones aren't the ones we got. We got these, um, the Buff Orpingtons. So you can pick any of these little... Um, Yellows? Yeah. This one. Oh, that one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, hi, little guys. You're coming home with us. Oh, little fatties. Yeah. How many days old are they right now? I would say like three days old. Three, three days old, yep. Well, they survived the first three days of life. So we got our chickens this year at Agway and they got the Buffalo Brinkton, the gold laced Wyandots, the Delaware and Partridge, Partridge Rock, is that right? Oh, neat. Look at those little fellers. You hear them? They're ready. Show them how we let them know where the water is. This is the water. Duck, dip their little beaks in it. Let them know that's where the water is. I might actually lower that a little. They know. Yep. Okay. That's good. And we have their little brooder heater. All link the video. Oh, she wanted to be in your hand. I'll let her jump from that height. Yeah. She doesn't want to leave your hand. Oh, I'll link a video for how we made our little homemade brooder heater. And I have a little thermometer in there. I'm trying to get a good gauge and set it at the right temperature. We'll have and, six chickens now. Yeah, we'll have six chickens now after we introduce these two to the flock when they get bigger. I'm gonna uh, get their food ready. And I, I raise their food and their water onto blocks so that way they don't get a bunch of. Uh, wood chips in their feed in their water. They know right where their food is. And we watched them drink water. <laughs> she keeps backing up, India. <laughs> Slide your hand down to the ground. That way she doesn't fall back. There we go. Look at her butt. She puts her whole head down in there. Like this. They're too funny. They're even fighting over her crumbles. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Hey, Let them hey. fight. That's how they do their thing. And they're playing and they're active. So these are the things we wanted to look for. We wanted to make sure that they knew where their food was. They had no problem eating it. And we watched them go to their water and drink on their own. So we know they're coming out of their little heat tunnel. So they feel warm where they're out here. They're warm enough. We have the room set at 70 and we have the heating tunnel set at, it's about 94. I may even drop that down, but only if I see them panting, 
when they're in the in the heating tunnel and I haven't seen that so this first week they say 95 it's at 94 and they seem very happy no complaints guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button okay they go in here and hang out and their little thermometer I put this in here so I can keep an eye on it 93.3 look at they pooping on it but that's okay <laughs> that way I can keep track of the temperature in this part here Sound like songbirds. Yes, you do. They're not panting, so they're not too hot. And they come out here. Don't eat it. They come out here and run around for a little bit and they eat and drink so they're not too cold outside of their cave. Okay, we also added, um, we have this quarter inch, um, uh, mesh hardware cloth they call it and uh, we put some tape on the edge of it because it's kind of sharp when you cut it and we use some zip ties to tie it back to our tub back here and then we just have a little wire that we hook on the front just to hold it down we don't necessarily need that right now but it won't take them long before they're figuring they can jump on top of their water and their feeder and their little cave and get out so <laughs> we just put it on there right away because with the last cheeps, they were trying to jump out right away. Not trying, they succeeded. So we have their brooder in the grow room, which these lights are timed. Uh, I believe we have it at on for 18, no, on for 16, off for eight. So that'll give them a good day night schedule. Day number two in their new home. Yep, they're making a lot more noise, more active. One just pooped. <coughs> and we just clean it up. And then we come by with Lysol wipes and clean it really good. We have really old floors in here that haven't been refinished yet. So it's okay. And we play with them a lot. That way they get used to it. There's some more poop. Okay. Yeah. Constantly cleaning poop. <laughs> One thing you do with baby cheeps, if you have them out and about, you clean a lot of poop. So we only have them out for little bits of time. And then when we they, feel like... Yeah, the cheddar, like... Watch. They will literally do. They will shake, and then that's how you think know that you're they are cold. So then you put them inside. Yep. Ooh, squaring up. I think this one's gonna be bigger. Which one's peaty? I can't even tell. I think this one's a little more peachy colored. Oh, no, they look, they change daily. They change just in the light. Yeah, they do. So these feathers, look, every day they're getting more of these little feathers here. Oh, yeah, chickens grow super so fast. So fast. Okay, we're seven days old now. Yeah, let's show them your feathers. Look at those pretty feathers. Oh, look at her pretty feathers. Look at that. You're getting her little tails. Her tiny little tail feathers. Let's see that. Look at those tiny little tail feathers.
So this is our fourth day having them. They were estimated at three days old when we got them. And they spend all of their time trying to peck around, find stuff to eat. <laughs> oh, and pooping, they poop. But you know what? They're pooping and that's a good thing. Oh, oh. They've been doing the, the chasing each other and like heading each other off. I'd like to get some footage of that. That's super cute when they do it. We're trying to show who's boss. When we had the four last year, it was more, they did it more often. It was a little bit more of a, a banter with them. But the only two, it's a little different. Yeah, they scratch their beaks on the ground. Like they're cleaning them off. This is day five. Day five in our home. Little tail feathers are getting bigger. And your little wing feathers. Look at those. All right, guys. Exactly one week ago, we picked these beautiful little chickens up. And I think I missed a day or two in the middle there because of work days filming. But I wanted to point out some big changes. Let's see you. Okay, so this little girl, her wings aren't as big as the other one yet, but you'll see, oh, she's feisty. Her little tail feathers, her wings, when they're separated, they cry. But one thing that she has over the other is they both are getting their comb. Come here. They're both getting their comb. This one's comb. Oh, it's hard to zoom in here. Do you see their little comb? starting to develop. Let me get your sister out. Come here. All right, so the other one, her wings are just a tiny bit bigger. Just a tiny bit. But only a week ago, they were literally little cotton balls with no defined feathers and Mind you, they were about three days old when we got them. So they're nine or 10 days old today. And they grow up fast. They are standing on top of their brooder. And when you come in, they stretch their necks like they're trying to figure out how to get out. Look at this little tails. Aren't they the cutest little bumps? Yeah, they're feisty now. Trying to show who's tougher than the other. In the middle of the night, we heard them cheeping. My husband got up and he came in here and sat with them for an hour just playing with them and spending some time in the middle of the night. Now, I mean, it, they, they weren't crying because it was cold because it's very warm in here. Oh, thank you for pooping again. Uh, very nice and warm in here, really, really good temperature. The room itself is about 69, 70 degrees. And their little brooder heater is at about 90 now. Uh, it, it fluctuates between 90 and 95. It's not perfect, but between 90 and 95. And they like to sit on top of their brooder. The last year, our chickens at this age liked being in the brooder more. They prefer being on top. So uh, 
We're gonna make a video for week number two of having them and there will be a lot of upgrades and changes to their birder box and to them. All right guys, so that you don't miss that video or any of our others, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and uh, don't forget to like. Okay guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching Garden and Grease.